Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of Monster Loves You here on High Plane Games. So we've just passed from adolescence into, uh, oh sorry, to start live as an adolescent monster. What should I be doing now? The more brave you are, the more others will go to respect you. Okay, so we're still on this thing. So let's go and live as an adolescent monster. Oh, hello! Do you like, do you like me? Let's enter the big bad world. Okay, so we've got some adventures to choose from. Again, eight days left. Clearly the first thing I'm going to look at is food. You sniff the air. Sniff, sniff, sniff! Could that be frosting? Oh, okay, I'm sold. Plots greets you and Nash Nash with a fluffy pink cake. Plot says he stole this from a human child. How do you three share it? If it's a human cake, think about it. You know humans would. Humans do a lot of things. Sometimes they talk all day, sometimes they draw circles and cut them out and talk. So odd, those humans. Uh, debate it with big words. Why don't you some geometry? You know, like humans would. <laughs> Let's do big words. While you jabber away, the scapegoat wanders off and starts eating the cake. No! Oh, don't be horrible to the scapegoat. Well, that didn't go very well. Uh, let's do paw print next. You're heading home with a dead rabbit found. Suddenly a fox appears. It solves up and asks, are you going to eat all of that? Let's examine the fox. Most talking first is that you're better fed than most of your cousins. This one is lean. and split it, it splits unevenly. One chunk has the most meat, the other is a bunch of tendons and skin. Um, I found it. Let's just do the gristle. Fox sniffs you off me and then pees on the gristle and runs back into the forest. And what's going to be rude to cock? I swear that's happened to me on a date. Pissing on my dinner. Let's go for old scrape goat. Of course it is. Bleaching is what goats do. That's true. Scrape goat walks out past its pits, looks around and bleats again. Nash Nash says it wants a fight. Let's try and give it one. No, let's see what's really bothering the goat. It bleats again. Looking into the pit, you see that there's no food anywhere. Oh, no. Shoves your side. I said, let's give it a fight. Um, I don't want to fight the scapegoat. The scapegoat's our friend. Great crew seems relieved. When you step in between it and Nash Nash, Nash Nash says, okay, I'll fight you instead. But then she always does. Oh, we got some ferocity. Hurrah! You and Nash Nash roll in the dirt. It sounds like a sex toy. It's not a tether. Ah, okay. Right. That looks dramatic. Let's do that. Nash Nash is picking on the tiny blistery. She gets knocked down every time she gets up. Nash Nash asks if you want to help. Why are you doing that? Nash Nash shrugs, I feel like it, and look at those tears. That's really harsh! No, fight that. 
without even a thanks, Bistri runs away, leaving you and Nash Nash to tussle in the street. Do you push the attack? No, Bistri is safe. and slash in the back for the cause the two of you struggle until you're both hurt too badly to continue evil I don't want to provoke a fight unless I have to let's go feathers something smells good clearly not my anus you and gobclaws find a trail of feathers at the edge of town following you find an eagle with a bleeding wing that smells good Bad. Uh, let's get help for the eagle. You leave Gobclaw to guard the eagle and run for the spin doctor. Spine doctor, sorry. <laughs> she brings you bandages and see herself. Spine doctor works with the insulin bird can fly again. Yay! We can live in peace and harmony, monsters. We can. Elder Jaggery grabs your claw and drags you out of town. I need you to scare a pig for me. What? Jaggery sniffs the air. Never mind. There he goes. Leaving you alone in the grassy meadow. Uh, I'd like to explore for a bit, please. As you poke around in the bushes, a ball rolls through them and comes resting your feet. That's a human thing. Walk through the bushes. You see a human sitting in the middle of the meadow. It hasn't spotted you yet, but it looks up at the sound of your movement. Uh, I'm going to wait and see what the human does. The human looks at you, waves its arms, burps and laughs. The sound shows shivers down your spine. Watch the human, but be ready to run. The human sitting points the bushes behind you, it makes a sound, it seems to be very young. No more a monster linger even more so. Give this ball back. Hey, I got some respect. Fuck a duck. Young to omen a bit of being respected for the story. The other monsters are impressed that you've interacted with a human. Say, so, don't diss with me, I give balls to humans. Okay, so you see Jaggery in a haze, uh, in a buzzy, angry yellow bees. It looks like he's still behind the tree to get home. You can see why honey is irresistible. Let's size up the situation. The bees can't kill you, but they can sure make you know you want to fight. That's true. Help him out. And let's put it near a smokehouse because we're clever. And we don't want to kill the bees. Okay, so one day left. We'll do that. He looks angry. Nash Nash Charge at you, Temple's Challenge. Fortune favours the bold and bonus thy name is Nash Nash. No. Never mind. I don't want to be ferocious. Adolescence is fleeting, you have grown to youth and become an adult. Oh dear. You've been dragged to your bed by your neighbours and friends. to grow up you've been taken into the woods Christ what do these monsters do neighbours throw you into the centre of a great circle of monsters all of them you they look and whisper at each other they look at you and whisper some more murmuring spit and snarl they're deciding what defines you as a monster that is very patiently okay well what is it what am I Ceremony. 
The other monsters hold you in some respect. One out of possible hundred. It sounds quite smart. Very kind for a monster. Thanks. The crowd shoves two monster limbs into the circle, each with a broken arm. The other. Oh, okay, so we have to have hide kindness to do this. Oh, I like this. We're going to gently tend to their wounds. Oh, plus five respect. Yay! Everyone cheers. Let's move on. I love that. Got some respect and stuff. Whoop, whoop. I seem to be brave and clever and kind. Not necessarily honest or ferocious, though. Okay, let's be an adult. Oh, we've got different things we can do. And we have 14 days in which to do it. Interesting. So, let's see what we do in an adult world on the next episode here of Monster Loves Us. Bye for now.